In this video, I'll show you how to loop a composition in After Effects. This biking animation is from my class, Limber Character Rigging to Secondary Animation in After Effects. So if you want to learn how I animated this, it's all explained in that class. And the link is in the description. If I play this animation within the work area that I've set, it already loops perfectly. What I want to do now is render out a video that plays this loop multiple times. In other words, I want the video to last, say, 10 seconds, rather than just the one-ish second that I'd get if I just rendered this out. To do that, I'll make this composition loop. So the first step is to trim this composition so it's just the section that loops. I've already set my work area to just the section that loops. If you don't know how to set the work area, all you have to do is hit B for beginning, or you can drag like this. And then to set the end, you just hit the end key or drag this blue end. So right now my work area is set to one second and two frames or 32 frames. And that's the exact amount of time that this animation takes to loop. But I actually am going to need this to be one frame longer and you'll see why that's important in a second. So I'm just gonna drag this work area out to one more frame so it actually is one second and three frames. And then I'm going to right click on the work area, just this gray bar here, and choose trim comp to work area. You can also do command K to get to the composition settings and set the duration. So just double check that it's one frame longer than the amount of time that it actually takes for your composition to loop. So my loop is 102 and my duration is 103. So now what I need to do is put this whole composition into another composition. So I'm gonna find this composition in the project panel and then I'll just select it and drag it onto this composition button. And that will create a new composition with the original inside of it. So I'm just gonna rename the new composition biking loop. And then down in the timeline with the biking loop composition open, you can see that it's the exact same length as the original composition. So I need to increase the duration of this. So I'm gonna hit command or control K to get to composition settings, and then just adjust the duration. If you also want this entire composition to loop perfectly, then you wanna make sure that your duration is a multiple of the original short loop. So I'm gonna do 10 times one second and two frames. So that's gonna be 10 seconds and 20 frames. So now if I zoom out on the timeline, you can see that it extends to 10 seconds and 20 frames. So now what I need to do is right click on this original biking composition, go to time and then enable time remapping. And then I'm going to go to this last keyframe and zoom in. And if you drag out your composition, you can see that nothing is happening. There's nothing visible on this last keyframe. But if you go one frame before that, the composition is visible. So what I'm gonna do is set a keyframe right here for 102, that's the duration of the loop. And then I'm going to delete this other keyframe that it set for me at 103. And that way, this will remain visible. But it's not looping yet, so the next step is going to be to Option or Alt click on the stopwatch to write that loop expression in here. So the loop expression that you need is just gonna be loop and then out and it'll probably guess what you're looking for. So it's gonna be like that. And you don't need to put anything inside of the parentheses because what we want is the default options for the things that go in the parentheses. So we can just click out of it. And now if we zoom out of the timeline and extend this composition all the way to the end and play this back, it'll loop. So that's it, that's how you loop a composition. If you want to learn more about creating looping animations, including how to make an entire scene like this loop seamlessly, check out my class, Looping Animated Scenes in Adobe After Effects. Or if you want to learn more about the other types of loop expressions and how to use them, check out this tutorial next.